Hello, and welcome to Bible Reading the Bible in the Year. I'm Eric. Linda. And our schedule is with uh, Our Daily Bread. And today we're reading Isaiah 56, 57, and 58, and 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. All right. My sweetheart just got back from being over at her daughter's place for a week. Yeah, it's really overwhelming. She's a full-time mom, and her son is really, really sick. Yeah. So we spent some time in the hospital with him on the weekend, giving her a break. And then we thought, because he had to come home and he's got pretty much no immunity, that we'd go over the house and really just disinfect everything, just to make sure there's just nothing that can interfere with his recovery. Oh, yeah. And um, so we did oh. all that, and he came home, and uh, he's very thankful. and. Uh, Praying that uh, we didn't miss anything because it's a beautiful big house. It's a really nice. Well, house. It's not a big house. It's well, a nice it's house. Nice it's, a, house. It's, a, it's a completed basement, which is nice. All basement. the floors in the whole okay. house are ceramic, just about, except for hardwood and living. Great house. We got a schedule. We have to read. Okay, let's open in prayer. Yes. Father in heaven, once again we come with thanksgiving in our hearts to you mm. for for the opportunity of reading your word and with sharing it on the internet. And Lord, we all pray that it reaches many people and blesses many people. And Lord, we also uh, thank you for that which you are doing in answering our prayers. Mm -hmm. And we continue to seek you on behalf of our grandson and, and brothers. And uh, Lord, for anyone who is joining in with us, Friends. for whatever their situation mm -hmm. may be, Lord, you know, and we continue to come before you with concerns and issues and also with thanksgiving knowing that mm -hmm. that you are the almighty and that you and you know yes. and you understand and we thank you in jesus name amen, amen. <coughs> came home with like shopping bags and meds medications unbelievable amount of medication he's still on so keep them in your prayer still chapter 56 56. here's what adonai says observe justice do what is right for my salvation is close to coming. My righteousness is the person who does this, anyone who grasps it firmly, who keeps Sabbath and does not profane it, and keeps himself from doing any evil. A foreigner joining Adonai should not say, Adonai will separate me from his people. Likewise, the eunuch should not say, I am only a dried up tree. Mm. Verse 4. Verse 4. I just noticed that every once in a while it stops. Someone if we have technical problems again. We read the whole thing the other night and there was many voices. We did it on YouTube and it cut half of it out. Verse 4. So now I'm watching. For thus saith the Lord to the eunuch who kept my Sabbath and chooses that what pleases me and holds fast to my covenant, even to them I will give my house and within my walls a place and a name. Better than that are the of sons and daughters, and I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. I see what the problem is. It's trying to learn a virus scan. You want to turn that off? It always messes up your code. This, this one right here. <clears throat> also, the sons of the foreigner who join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servant, everyone who keeps from defiling the Sabbath and holds fast my covenant. What do you think about this? not be found on the Sabbath day. Even them I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called the house of prayer for all nations. So keep the Sabbath, it says. Verse 8. Adonai Elohim says, He who gathers Israel's exiles there are yet others I will gather, besides those gathered already. All you wild animals come and devour, yes, all you animals in the forest. Israel's watchmen are all of them blind. They don't know anything. They are all dumb dogs, unable to bark, lying there dreaming, loving to sleep. Greedy dogs, never satisfied. Such are the shepherds, unable to understand. They all turn to their own way each one intent on his own gain. Come, I'll get some wine. We'll fill up our on good, strong liquor. Tomorrow will be like today. In fact, it will be even better. 
Now, here he's talking about watchmen. And watchmen, I always thought watchmen are... are it says they're blind. Yeah. They're ignorant. Are, they, so, are they like the shepherd? Well, are preachers Leaders maybe? Leaders of the church? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, so chapter 57. The righteous per uh, uh, perishes, and no man takes it to heart. Merciful men are taken away while no one considers that the righteous is taken <coughs> away from evil he shall enter into peace they shall rest in their beds each one walking in his uprightness verse 3 uh, verse three. but you you witches children come here you spawn of adult you spawn of adulterers and whores whom are you making fun of at whom are you laughing and sticking out your tongue Aren't you rebellious children? Just a brood of liars. You go into heat among the oak trees, under every spreading tree. You kill the children in the valleys, under the cracks in the rocks. Your place is among the smooth stones in the vadi. These, these are what they deserve. You pour out drink offering to them. You offer grain offering to them. Should I calmly ignore those things? You set up your bed on a high, lofty mountain. You also went up there to offer sacrifices behind doors and doorposts. You set up your lewd memorials. Then far from me, you uncover your bed, climbing up on it and opening it wide. Make an agreement with some of them whose bed you loved when you saw their hand beckoning. Verse 9. Verse 9, you went to the king with ointment and increased your perfumes. You sent your messengers far off and even descent, de descended to Sheol. You are wearied in the length of your ways, yet you did not say there is no hope. You have found the life of your hand, and therefore you were not grieved. And of whom have you been afraid or feared? That you have lied and not remembered me nor taken it to your heart. It is not because I have held my peace <coughs> from of old that you do not fear me. I will declare your righteousness and your works, for they will not profit you when you cry out. Let your collection of idols deliver you, but the wind will carry them all away. A breath will take them, but he who puts his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain. Then he will say, keep building, keep building, clean the way, or clear the way, remove everything blocking my people's path. For thus says the high exalted one who lives forever, whose name is holy. I live in the high and holy place, but also with the broken and humble, in order to reveal the spirit of the humble and revive the hearts of the broken ones. For I will not fight them forever or always nurse my anger otherwise their spirit would faint before me the creature creatures i myself have made it was because of their fragrant greed that i was angry and struck them i hid myself and was angry but they continued on their own rebellious way i have seen their ways and i will hear them i will lead them and give them comfort and to those who mourn for them, I will create the right words. Shalom, shalom to those far off and to those nearby, says Adam and I. I will heal them. But the wicked are like the restless sea, unable to be still. Its waters toss up mud and dirt. There is no shalom, says my God, for the wicked. Chapter 58. <clears throat> Cry aloud and spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Tell my people their transgressions, <clears throat> the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily, and delight to come my ways, as a nation that did righteousness, and did not forsake the ordinances of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching God. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen? Why have we afflicted our souls, and you take no notice? In fact, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exploit all your laborers. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate and to strike with the fist of wickedness. You will not fast as you do this day to make your voice heard on high. 
Is it a fast that I have chosen, a day for man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head like a bulrush, and to spread out his sackcloth and ashes? Would you call this a fast, and an acceptable day of the Lord? That's a question. Verse, and not hide yourself from your own flesh. Verse 8. Verse 8, okay. <clears throat> then your light with then your light will burst forth like the morning. Your new skin will quickly grow over your womb. Your righteousness will precede you, and Adonai's glory will follow you. Then you will call, and Adonai will answer. You will cry, and he will say, Here I am. For you will remove the yoke from among you. Stop false accusations and slander. Generously offer food to the hungry and meet the needs of the person in trouble. Then your light will rise in the darkness, and your gloom become like noon. Adonai will always guide you. He will satisfy your needs in the desert. He will renew the strength in your land, so that you will be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fa fails. He will rebuild the ancient ruins, raise foundations from ages past, and be called repairers of broken walls, restorer of streets to live in. If you hold back your foot on Sabbath from pursuing your own interests on my holy day, if you call Shabbat a delight, Adonai's holy day, worth honoring, then honor it by not doing your usual things, or pursuing your interests, or speaking about them. If you do, you will find delight in Adonai. I will make your you ride on the heights of the land and feed you with the heritage of your ancient uh, Yaakov, for the mouth of Adonai has spoken. Mm. Wow. Yeah, we were talking about we that Sabbath thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the Sabbath today is not practiced like it was when I was a kid. When we were a kid, it was a day of rest and worship, and you did nothing. No shopping, no socializing, nothing on Sabbath. Okay, chapter 2. Start. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, ask <clears> you, <throat> we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or trouble, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, that for, for that day will will not come unless the falling away come first. And the man of sin is revealed, the son of prediction, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. Verse then the one who embodies separation <clears throat> from Torah will be revealed. The one whom the Lord Yeshua will slay with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the glory of his coming. When the man who avoids Torah comes, the adversary will give him the power to work all kinds of false miracles, signs, and wonders. He will enable him to deceive in all kinds of wicked ways those who are headed for destruction because they would not receive the love of the truth that could have saved them. This is why God is causing them to go astray so that they will believe the lie. The result will be that all who have not believed the truth but have taken their pleasure in wickedness will be condemned. But we have to keep think, thanking God for you always, brothers, whom the Lord loves, because God chose you in for, as first fruit for deliverance by giving you the holy holiness that has its ori origin in the Spirit and the faithfulness that has its original or, origin in the truth. He called you to this through our good news, so that you could have the glory of our Lord Yeshua, the Messiah. Verse 15. Okay, verse 15. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether it be word or of epistle. 
Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace comfort your heart and establish you in every good word and work. And our time's up. Well, We're already over 15 minutes. Thank you so much for the many prayers and calls and concern yeah. for, for Lucas and our family members and friends who we're praying for. And thank you so much for obedience and faithfulness and seeking God and reading his word. And now, and adding to that if you haven't already, learning about Sabbath and honoring it. It pleases God. Bye for now. Bye. See you tomorrow. Well.